Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time, how they feel about you, what are their intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Capricorn watching and not every reading here on my channel is going to resonate for you. Take what resonates, what applies. If it does not apply to you, check out the Capricorn playlist that I have in the description box. Tons of videos there for your sign. So let's jump right in for Capricorn spirit, angels, guides. For Capricorn, regarding the person they are thinking about, connecting with at this time for Capricorn. What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Capricorn at this time? What do we need to know about what this person is thinking about when it comes to Capricorn, their thoughts? Feelings, energies. Okay, so we have the King of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Queen. Never fails. Every time I do a Capricorn reading, there's the Queen of Pentacles that shows up. Obviously, Earth energy there, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Air energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, well, when they think about you, they think about some sort of move or departure. So maybe one of you left this connection or this person's thinking about making a move towards you. We'll see what this is about. Bottom of the deck, we have the three of pentacles. Hmm. I sense that this person wants to talk to you about something that already happened. Whatever history you have with them. I see you sitting pretty over there though, Capricorn. So let's see what's going on here. What insight can you give us into this person's energy spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies? What do we need to know? Hidden feelings. Uh, don't let your don't let fear keep you from revealing your true feelings. We have someone here that has not expressed themselves. Balancing act, juggling indecision, balance. You're juggling multiple things at once. I feel like this person's going back and forth about how much to like disclose. <laughs> how much can I say? Should I say something? Bottom of the deck, we have closed off. So I definitely feel like this person has not come forward yet. Um, they're thinking about it, but I don't think this has happened yet. There might be little communication between you and this person, maybe no contact at this time. Can I get some more um, insight into what this person's thinking or feeling? You matter to me, wants to come out here. Insight, please, spirit, into what this person's thinking or feeling when it comes to Capricorn, this connection. You make me happy. I feel like they're trying to like reassure you here. It's kind of the energy I'm getting as if to say, no, I really do care about you. No, I, you really do make me happy. Um, bottom of the deck is I need more time. So maybe they have to reassure you because they're gonna ask for more time or they haven't done something that they said they were gonna do in a specific time frame. It could be that you distance yourself, Capricorn, with the Six of Swords until they got their act together about something and then now when they do come forward, I have a feeling you didn't want to hear anything from them until that was done or completed. So when they do come forward, they're going to be like, I'm not telling you what you want to hear. I just, you know, I just want to say that, you know, I'm still here, I'm still invested, etc. Let me get some hidden truth oracles. I might just get just one. What else? What else do we need to know about this individual? The Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know? What do 
we need to know? What do we need to know about Capricorn? I want to be more than friends. So I don't think I'm speaking to a Capricorn where this connection was like a commitment or a marriage. If there was a commitment or um, a relationship that existed between you, it's long over. I'm just not picking up strongly that for a lot of you out there, you were actually together with this person recently. Some of you, this is like a friends with benefits situation. And you don't have clarity about this. And instead of giving you clarity, they're giving you excuses here um, and telling you, hey, why do you need to know all that? I'm very happy with you right now. Why do we need to take it further than that? Distant horizons. There could be physical distance here between you, but this card is also about kind of like your Ten of Cups, your dreams coming true, dreams becoming reality. Let's see what all of these energies down here mean. Tell me about this King of Swords spirit. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? Justice, Libra energy, Five of Pentacles, Balance. I feel like this person, okay, Nine of Swords, they want to kind of come in here. Tell me about the King of Swords. I'm getting like, um, I don't know why I'm getting this energy. Yeah, there's the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. This is kind of like that Distant Horizons card. I feel like this person is hoping um, to balance something out with justice, make something right. Um, however, they're really worried about this. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. This could be somebody just very nervous to approach you, to come forward. But again, it's very strange energy. I don't, I'm just not picking up that you and this person have like this history where a lot of things went down. Um, what's at the bottom of the deck? Seven of Cups. Whatever this person wants to tell you, I feel like they've been thinking about it a lot. Yeah, there's the hangman. A lot of thinking, overthinking. This is someone that's been overthinking. I think they're waiting for the right time to approach you. But I feel like this person is like very hard to read. Like, I don't think this person, if they are, you know, this could also be that someone's your friend, but wants to be more than your friend and has never told you this. You know, it's like... Maybe they have never felt that, like they had an opportunity with you, Capricorn, or like things could move forward here. Um, at, you know, being more than friends has not really been an option in the past. So I feel like this is somebody, you know, for a lot of you, I'm getting that this is someone that perhaps has had their eye on you for some time, but all they do is overthink and hope rather than like actually do something here. We'll look at their intentions in a second. For others of you, I feel like if this is someone wanting to come back in, they have not disclosed that. And it's been a long time since, you know, you and this person have had something because I get the sense that, you know, for the Capricorns that I'm reading for that there was some sort of history between you, you kind of ended things and like and are very civil with each other but this person wants more. I feel like this person's like making excuses with I need more time. If you're in like that second scenario, that second group of Capricorns where this is somebody that's coming in from the past, I feel like they're just making excuses for not coming forward. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six. 
King of Cups, Five of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Hmm. This person has, yeah, they have not, they have not revealed how they feel. This is someone that like loves you in secret. I'm getting such like clear messages here with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is not really a card about someone that um, is like hiding in secret. You know, they, they typically are whatever they do it's out in the open in a way and you can kind of see them for who they truly are and they sabotage themselves through their own actions they are deceptive in nature but that's not what i'm getting here i'm almost getting that this person does not want to lose you as a friend or does not want to lose face and so they pretend and they hide when they you know they're a five of swords when they're really a king of cups does that make sense and here's the queen of swords I feel like they don't want to hide anymore. They've been holding back this whole time. There's a four of pentacles. Maybe some of you Capricorns are recently single or are leaving or are moving somewhere and you come in contact with this person or this person is seeing an opportunity because that wheel of fortune and the 10 of cups, this is like opportunity all over this. This is my chance, my opportunity to have my happy ending. Six of Pentacles, another card about like balance. Hmm. Let's see what this Queen of Pentacles is about. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this Queen of Pentacles? That is way too many, but I'm going to take this one down here. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, a nice pair. King of Swords, Queen of Swords is here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you Capricorns, I feel like you were in a relationship or tied up somewhere. Or it could be that this person has loved you. In, yeah, it's like they've, they've cared about you even though you weren't available. What is going on? This is getting like really specific, but that's the message I'm getting. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. It could also be they're trying to step up and match you here. Yeah, Empress Energy. Nine of Wands, Six of Pentacles again. There's a Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it's like they want to come forward. They want to give you this cup. But they keep holding back. This person keeps holding back. This is not someone that's been contacting you, getting in your, you know, being a pain. Constantly, like, coming after you. That's not this person. A lot of attraction here. Yeah, Knight of Swords. They, they, they have their eye on you but they're being very secretive about it it's very specific energy but that's just like what i'm getting here and it keeps coming up you could have i still get, get that sense that some of you you weren't available and they never had their chance before or something has shifted where they feel they have a chance now that you know it's a, this is someone that's like I love you. I've always loved you. I know that it's weird that I'm telling you this. You probably didn't expect it, you know, that kind of energy. Because they're, they're scared over here. Let me clarify this Five of Swords. Tell me about this Five of Swords, Spirit. What do we need to know about this energy? Five of Swords, please. What do we need to know about this energy with the Five of Swords? death scorpio energy what do we need to know about this five of swords two of wands ace of swords there's the emperor okay so i still see that energy of someone who's like has options now two of wands death six of swords so something is happening here with the six of swords where now your person's thinking well i'm going to take charge i'm going to talk to capricorn this is one of the paths i can take now that this has happened can be dealing with an aries it does not have to be that's i the signs aren't as important as the energies that are coming out with the rest of the cards but what I feel, you know, I, 
even when you look at this five of swords and the death card you would think okay well someone's actions have led to an ending of some sort but for some reason i'm not picking that up strongly i don't know why i just i feel like this is more someone choosing a path due to an ending and it's like let's talk about it It's almost like this Five of Swords is that energy of someone who's also like, I shouldn't be looking at pa Capricorn's direction. They're not single. They're not available. Why am I lusting after them? I should be their friend or I've been presenting myself as their friend this whole time. But it's like they had an ulterior motive in a way. Their motive was to talk to you, but... It's not just talking to you. You know what I mean? It's like, let's talk. I want to, you know, tell you how I feel, you know, as your friend. <laughs> but deep down, what they're not saying is, I'm glad that this is happening to you. I'm glad that this, this situation is happening to you because now I have my chance. They're going to look like a crappy person if they were to say that, you know? Okay, let's look at their intentions. They might even say something like, hey, you know, we are we are the same, you and I. We are very similar. We get along very well. We're clearly friends, you know. I still don't feel very strongly that it's a past person for most of you. Because I feel like if it was a past person, it would have to be someone from, like, the distant past. Because there's this energy that I'm getting of, like, you're not really aware of this person's thoughts or feelings despite the fact that they're right in front of you right it's not like this person's hiding somewhere um i don't know it's very strange it's like you still interact with this x if it is an x we'll see tell me about the their intentions their intentions towards capricorn please spirit what do we need to know about this person's intentions their real intentions genuine intentions towards Capricorn please let's see what their intentions are two of Pentacles nine of cups yeah page of swords should I shouldn't I they have their eye on the prize here page of swords nine of cups bottom of the deck the devil there you are Capricorn showing up to your own reading Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. What's this about? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is about like what move do I make? When do I make it? Should I even make this move? Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. Temperance. Yeah, it's like, again, it's like this hesitation. It's, is it the right time? Should I work on this a little bit more? Sagittarius energy with temperance. Tell me about this nine of cups. This person definitely has a, a wish, a desire. What's this nine of cups about? And they're like keeping tabs on it. Five of pentacles. Yeah, they're like on the outside in looking at what they want. They might not have anything substantial to offer you, Capricorn, and that's probably the way they've waited in the wings. Yeah, Queen of Swords and Six of Swords come out together because one leads to the other, right? Either this is somebody that wants to talk about a certain move or you decide to leave a situation and they're like, now is my chance to talk. The Chariot at the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. So again, this energy of like moving, action. I just don't see this being like you left someone or they left you and then now they want to talk about that departure itself. I just don't. I'm not picking that up for some reason. Tell me about the page of swords. Tell me about the page of swords. The magician. Tell me about the page of swords. 
Five of Cups. There's death again. Scorpio energy. And the moon. Pisces energy. Four of Cups. Interesting. The King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Yeah. So this is somebody that's not sure how things are going on. They're hiding the fact that they are miserable or unhappy. What an interesting... Tell me about the death card. This is such an interesting reading to me because it's not what it seems. Tell me about death. Why is death here? The chariot, seven of pentacles, a four of pentacles. So sim similar energies we've gotten already. Yeah, will Capricorn respond? What What are they worried about? Tell me about this four, uh, five of cups. Tell me about this five of cups. Yes, this is this is what I'm saying. I think this person is like manifesting things working out for them. Once this ending takes place, once you leave a situation or someone leaves you. Or there's a change in your life. They're like, is this it? Is this my chance? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how Capricorn feels. And will I take a risk? Because if I take a risk here and like reach out, I might still lose. You know, so it's much easier to just think about things. The Hermit, Virgo energy. To keep things hidden. It's safer. Yeah, three of cups. I feel like for some of you, there was someone else here that prevented you from being with this person. Let me know if this is resonating for you in the comments because it's not going to resonate with everyone. That to me is very clear. And I'm going to take it to the, uh, take this to the extended because I want to know where all of this is headed next. But, and also if, you know, not only what it, where is it headed next, but is this person going to do what they want to do because right now they're it's showing me that they're undecided they know what they want but they don't know if they're going to actually go after it so i'm going to look at that in the extended but spirit can i get one more energy about this person okay sagittarius that's temperance energy this person could have sagittarius somewhere in their chart but i think that they're just biding their time biding their time that's kind of what i'm getting Despite the fact that they know they want you, it's like they're going back and forth here, wasting time, really. But this person has been waiting in the wings. So I'm, you know, I'm not speaking to, it just doesn't feel like this is someone that you recently like not um, disconnected from. Because usually when you have a separation from someone, they leave, they're away from you. You don't really have access to each other. You don't have reasons to see each other typically. Virgo energy, so we have um, Hermit. What else we need to know about this person? Cancer, ruled by the moon and Taurus. Look at all these major arcanas. Hierophant energy, chariot. So this person could have these signs in their chart, but they are also energies about like the major arcanas. Um, I feel like this person does not want to mess this up. With the chariot, I feel like the cancer energy here is like, they want to make a move, but they're being so careful about it. Virgo and Taurus energy, and even Sagittarius here with temperance. It's like, I'm, I'm not gonna rush this. I'm not gonna rush this. I also get the sense that this person is probably somebody that's like trying to figure out um, which is the best energy to approach Sag um, not Sagittarius, Capricorn with. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? You know? All different. These are very different ways to approach a connection. Uh, very different. So that makes sense to me. And here's the loyal card that came out and faith. So, you know, it's, I feel like whoever this is, you kind of trust them, or at least they've been loyal to you without you realizing it, Capricorn. Let's take this to the extended because this is getting really weird. I'm going to take this to the extended to get some clarity 
on this particular person and what are their next potential actions towards you and what do you need to know for the potential future. I'm sorry if this reading was all over the place. It was a weird reading <laughs> and I'm just reading the messages as they come and you know how I feel about what I see. So thank you for your patience. <laughs> like the video if you enjoyed how I read or if you enjoyed the reading or it resonated for you. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.